Well, here's an interesting little effect before I begin. Let's make sure that, of course, all the cards are different. There's no prearrangements anywhere, but just to make sure, I'm going to give the cards a shuffle like this. Okay, that's pretty fair. And I'm going to have someone select a card for me. By guy, you, you're just right in the perfect spot. Would you mind? Just touch any card you want. Okay. This one? Now, you want this one or this one? This one. This one right there. Go ahead and look at it. One. Got mm -hmm. it. And I'll show it to everybody. Okay. And I'm going to place it right back into the deck, just like this. So one card down in the center of the deck. And everybody knows what the card is except for me. Now, what I want to try and do is, is I want to make a guess and see if I can't match your card in at least uh, one of three tries. Okay, I'll give, me, give me three tries. Uh, let's see. Hmm, boy. It's hard to guess without... Okay, one there, one there. And I'm going to give it a guess that this is going to be one of them as well. So it's, it's generous of you to give me three uh, chances uh, to try and find this, um, but I think that I'm pretty sure that I, at least one of these uh, is going to match your card. Uh, um, let's see, the first one, uh, the card on the bottom, is that... Uh, Oh, that is your card. That's my card. <laughs> oh, good. So I, I got it on the, the first try. That's pretty good. Uh, the interesting thing is that the, the card on top uh, also uh, looks like her card. Now, the funny thing is the card that's in the middle here, that also uh, looks like her card. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're saying to yourself, either this is some kind of an illusion, right? Or he has taken a queen of clubs from three different decks there or cards, okay? Now, nine times out of ten, you'd be right, right? Okay? But there happens to be another way to match your card beyond those two ways. You see, uh, another way to match it would be to treat it as if it were a match. You see? If I were to treat it as if it were a match, then it wouldn't be here. You see, because that would be the seven of diamonds, that would be the ace of diamonds, and that would be the eight of spades. Now, if I were to treat it as if it were a match, obviously, it wouldn't be in the deck, right? It would be with the matches. Now, if that is, in fact, where it is, wouldn't it be amazing if right there in the book of matches just happens to be one card the queen of clubs perfectly <laughs> folded into six. Is that weird? <laughs> you had the chance to change your mind right up till the last second. But now I tell you what, since we've already kind of put this uh, card through some hazardous duty, I'm going to do one other thing. And I'm going to take out of here. Okay? It's a bag of water. But you weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that bag of water, and I'm going to add it to your card. Just like this. I mean, let me do it this way. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to ask you to hang on to this. Now, at the risk of uh, being overly poetic, I am going to paradoxically add heat because fire mixes particularly well with ice. And in the center of that ice is a card. The card just happens to be the queen of clubs. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give that to you. I'm going to place it right back inside. And now you can have it as your own little souvenir. Oh, and yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs>